Make sure you join our Crypto Gamers and Collectors Facebook group for more information and discussions on crypto collectibles. What's up guys, it's Maddie from DCLblogger.com. I'm going to be doing a review of MLB Crypto. Now, I um, briefly touched upon this in my last article where I went through six crypto collectibles to keep your eye on in 2018. Um, MLB Crypto, came. Uh, I kind of came across them a week or two ago. Not even a week or two ago, actually. It was just like a few days before that. And I've been blown away by, uh, you know, what it is trying to be. And I've seen a bunch of different um, kind of sports associated, kind of celebrity associated crypto collectibles come out. But I've always been um, thinking, oh, you know, if copyright becomes an issue and I'm sure it will, what are these guys going to do? Now, the interesting, interesting thing about MLB crypto is I've done some research and so should you guys as well, just in case. But these guys seem to be directly associated with MLB themselves. So Major League Baseball. Obviously a big thing in America. In Australia, not so much. In fact, uh, it's like the only sports I didn't play at school. Played soccer, played football, played, you know, basketball, cricket, but just didn't play baseball, unfortunately. So I'm struggling to figure out like what's valuable and what's not valuable when it comes to the game. But I'm going to go through the basics or what I've kind of found out so far. <clears throat> But the, like I said before, there are news articles that are covering the whole kind of um, the partnership and what MLB Crypto aim to be. So just to authenticate the partnership and all that, I do suggest you guys check out, you know, the, the article on find, uh, yahoo.com about Major League Baseball getting into crypto. And you can just watch this video about, you know, an interview um, made about explaining the game, explaining the partnership, all that kind of stuff. And you can also see that they MLB Crypto continuously tweet and tag at MLB, who are the main, you know, Major League Baseball account with like 8 million followers. So copy, I mean, they're directly associated. And, um, you know, this is a really big thing. Like if this can, it can be like the, the, crypto collectible to bring itself to the masses, um, especially if it does become popular in the MLB scene, it's like a big leap forward for crypto. Anyway, <clears throat> what I've done, and I'm going to explain what the what they're trying to do, and just the, the basics, okay? Um, it's always a good idea to do a lot of research into this yourselves, but the basics is what these guys are doing is they're slowly releasing players. You can, you can own players in the form of these digital trophies or these digital memorabilia kind of um, figurines, right? And each each uh, figure represents a player in a certain team. And um, based on which player compositions you have and the teams that you put together, your team will get points based on the players and, and the way they do in the game. If their team wins, they start to get points. And you can cash those points in and claim rewards. And those rewards are basically more trophies or more players. And you can sell these back on the marketplace. At the moment, um, MLB themselves are, um, if I were to go to sale type and go to MLB sales. So MLB themselves are selling these um, figures. Uh, they're slowly drip feeding them in and they're slowly being brought out bought up by the public they haven't they they are not kind of releasing all the players at once they're just strip feeding them in and letting people jump on uh, whichever players that they want and general sales is people relisting their um you know their figurine back at a price higher than what they paid for they're trying to make some quick money but mlb sales is it's interesting how they're doing the sales Basically, the way they're conducting it is a, I believe it's called a Dutch auction, like a reverse auction where they start at a certain price and over the time duration, this is why this timer is slowly going down. So this one says that this auction ends in a day. Um, there's some auctions that end in like a few hours. Where are they? Um, you know, in a day, in a day, everything's in a day. But you can sort them out. You can sort them based on, um, you know, the time that they're about to finish. But so if this one is going to end in a day and it's currently listed at 1.36, uh, 1.359 Ethereum, how it works is so during in a day's in a, a day's period. Uh, 
So it started at 1.4 and it's going to end at zero Ethereum. So basically, the goal of MLB crypto is to get everyone to own, sorry, all the kind of crypto collectibles, um, all the pieces owned by someone. Whether it goes to zero and you claim it for zero dollars or zero Ethereum, you might be lucky and do that. But basically, it starts at you know 1.4 or whatever it is at the moment, and in the in the time span of a day, it'll slowly come down to the price of zero. And you might be able to catch it at the tail end if it hasn't been bought out yet. And I've been able to catch a couple. I have two um, players. I do not know. Um, I like do not know if they're good or bad, but all I know is I picked them up pretty damn cheap. I'm 0.04 Ethereum for each one of them. Um, there's some players going for like 18 Ethereum, 20 Ethereum. It's been crazy, right? So yeah, reverse auction and um, you can sort them based on teams, whichever whichever um, ones you want. And the interesting thing is, so the, this is how the game works, right? So you go to the marketplace, you buy your crypto collectibles or your baseball figurines. And then you'll be, you'll be able to create your own roster um, under the gameplay section and position your people wherever you want them in the field based on, you know, which type of player they are. And then figures automatically play in every live game that their real world MLB team is playing in and they'll receive stats in real time from the corresponding players. If your team wins, you have a chance of creating or generating a brand new figure. So the goal is to get more figures and I guess it's more of a that what MLB crypto are trying to do is bring memorabilia and, and the whole col collecting, um, you know, imp the whole um, releasing things, um, items or assets from memorable moments. They're trying to digitize, digitize all this. Just, they're trying to do what crypto collectibles is supposed to be and supposed to do. And so it's awesome to see like a big, big organization get behind this and push this to its fan base um i think they're, they're obviously here to stay because mlb crypto have an 8 million followership or obviously a lot more like a lot of american citizens to uphold their promises to so these aren't a cash grab um, i think personally it's worth if you don't know anything about baseball probably is worth educating yourself a little bit understanding what what baseball is um, how it works and what the t top teams are and, and, you know, a bit of history about each team, top players and all that kind of stuff. So you get an idea of which ones are going to go for a lot. From my opinion, like there's still, a th there's still thousands and thousands of players still to be released on the marketplace. So um, you're going to see a lot of people very hyped up at the moment since it's very new, jump in and buy a lot of pieces. But eventually, like there's going to be, the price is going to come down. I think a lot more are going to get sold under the 0 0.05 Ethereum level. Um, obviously, that's like the real bottom and they're not um, popular players, but I think you can get them, you know, between zero under 0 0.1 Ethereum. So like my advice as a, as someone that doesn't know anything about baseball would be, would be to do a bit of research, but if I can't bother doing that, then why not grab like five or six of these under 0 0.05? Because once this does finish up and all of these collectibles are gone out, like MLB are not releasing anymore and the only way to buy these players is from someone else, then the bottom starts to go up, meaning that the cheapest one will be based on what someone else is willing to sell it for. And so if you have a few, like if you have five or 10 that you bought right at the bottom, like 0 0.03 or whatever, and um, you can hold out till then, and this gets marketed out to, you know, marketed marketed a lot more. Then um, you know you'll have a lot more people jumping in, and hopefully you'll be able to sell your, um, you know, your piece for for more. So from a marketing perspective, like from a money making investing perspective, it's really interesting. I think um, when the marketplace opens up, which it, you can already sell it, so you can do a reverse style auction yourself and try and sell this. But again, like I do not know the value of each of these players, so I don't know what they're going for. I'm going to be monitoring it very closely just to figure out, you know, which players go for a lot, which teams go for a lot. Red Sox obviously seem to be really, really good, really, really popular. A lot of their team members are going for like, I think the other day I saw four or five of them sell for 18 Ethereum each. Um, big, like a lot of money being spent on this. So yeah, check it out. Um, they obviously have a Discord group. You can join that and uh, keep part of the community. If you're a crypto collectible fan like me, it's worth getting into. I definitely think it's a long. It's going to be here for a while, so you're, you know, it's not as risky as your other collectible investments.